Welcome to another one of our select series editions for this spring. We've got a great lineup of new Angus bulls to talk about, and I would say probably very easily we could be as excited about these bulls as maybe any set of new bulls we've had for a while. Some shining stars for the future, Joe. I'm going to let you start off with talk about a bull called Gibson. Yeah, Gibson's one of the bulls that I, I'm personally most excited about in our new acquisition. Gibson comes to us as a semi-proven bull, very royally bred pedigree with confidence plus out of the BO61 daughter of Y69. Very, very good bull, very good structured, very nicely made. But when you start breaking down the data on him, he just does a lot of things right. He's one of those dollar M, dollar C combination bulls. And you start looking across the whole EPD profile. He handles it from calving ease, the growth, the end product merit, the convenience traits. He does a lot of things really well. We always look for those kind of EPD profiles. We always hope for those kind of genetics where you can make genetic improvement on multiple traits at the same time. It's really nice when you find it in the package that Gibson comes to us. The one common thread as I visited with the people that had Gibson calves, they all told me the same thing. They never have a bad one. They're just good cattle. He does a good job. Uh, you're not gonna have calves that you know are at the bottom of the pack. They're just really solid. They're always toward the top and very, very complete. This is a bull that we're gonna see a lot of popularity. He'll get used in all parts of the country. Good, good. That's exciting. And physically, one of the most impressive bulls we've got. Sure. No doubt about it. John, a bull called Rival has got us excited too. Yeah, Brian, a, a bull, a rival that came out of the Benoit program in Kansas, 7 a.m., uh, 738. You know, when we think about rival, he's a, a pedigree out of a growth fund, Confidence Plus, and we all know what growth fund does for us from the type of cattle that he makes and the data that they put together. But we sought out to find a growth fund son that with added marbling, and this was a bull that, that we landed on, a bull that excels um, for growth at the top end of the breed for both weaning and yearling, but a bull that in his individual scan ratios scanned like 230 for IMF and, and 120 for ribeye. So a bull that did ultra good in terms of his scan data, but a bull from a phenotype standpoint, he will be a little bit bigger framed uh, when you look at them, a little more frame and growth with these cattle, long bodied. But I think uh, when we look at having that growth fund type of muscle with added marbling, I think that's where the rival bull fits well. We're talking about a bull that did ultra good for ultrasound, but in the case of this bull, I, th I think there's never been a bull that entered our lineup that scanned that high for his IMF. And so uh, that's, that's another reason we can get pretty excited about what this bull's future looks like. Joe's going to talk about a bull that came from the West Coast. Step up. Yeah, Step Up uh, comes to us as another semi-proven bull that we actually have seen progeny. Progeny have already been top in sales in a lot of places, but he was bred at EZ in, in California. He was purchased by Todd Edwards at Edisto Pines in uh, South Carolina, and there's been cattle uh, across the country all in between those two, uh, those two states. But Step Up's a very good bull, very complete, a very masculine, thick-made, dense-bodied bull, but they've got grow to them. I think when you really start studying his EPD profile, there, there's some rare things. One, he's in top 1% of the breed for angle. And we're hearing breeders all over the country saying, and we're working on foot quality, we can get the claw straight. How do we get that heel deeper? Where's the bulls that can, can change the angle? And this, this is a bull that can do that. His feet are very, very good. It's a big solid foot, straight edge, deep heeled, um, got a lot of substance to it. And that, that comes along um, with that foot quality. But also this bull, uh, many times when we find a foot like that, we ramp the birth weight way up and he still holds all that together. And guess what? Still over one on marbling. Uh, just very, very complete. The bulls, calves, we've got to see some in several different herds. Phenotypically, uh, they're standouts and they have topped a lot of sales or been toward the top. Uh, just very complete in their structure and kind. And then when you get that DNA sample back, the EPD profile, very solid. All those genetics are coming through. 
and you described a lot of things that our customers are are looking for, Joe, and it's yeah. all in one bull. Yeah, it's it's hard to find the pieces linked together like like comes in step ups package, and when you get that kind of type with it, I mean, it's a, it's a slam dunk. Good, so. good. John, a bull came out of your home state. Let's talk about Brunswick. Yeah, you know, Brian, Brunswick comes out of the T-Bone Angus program in Nebraska. And, and as a bull that I think as we look at him in our lineup, provides us some outcross mating flexibility, being out of a bull called Sterling Pacific uh, and Keneally Driver on the bottom side. This bull is going to be moderate frame, lots of middle, lots of depth of rib in the bull. Modest from a calving ease standpoint, but he excels in those maternal and what I call doability traits such as feet, um, heifer pregnancy. And so I think a bull that... Uh, that will give us uh, lots of middle to the cattle and provide excellent maternal value. We're gonna close out this segment with a bull called Grand Canyon. And a lot of you in our audience recognize a bull called Rainfall. Bull we've had a lot of success with it, still have his success today. This is a Rainfall son that came came to us from the Schaff program. This is one of the bulls that Kelly chose to keep back and use. So not only did he use him, he also got to be viewed by a lot of people this past summer running with cows. And it's a, a pretty impressive bull to go out in the pasture and look at. I was one of the fortunate ones to have a chance to go through that pasture and see this bull out with cows. And there's no doubt, this is one of the bulls that you'll remember and say, my gosh, what an impressive specimen. That's what he does as it as presents himself. Uh, we, go, we go with the rainfall pedigree, we know what that can do. We're excited about this bull because of the cow family. Uh, it goes back to a net worth cow, the 9477 cow, one of Kelly's good ones. Foot quality, we talk about that often. This bull has it bred in, and the Schaff program has been known for making that a priority. Uh, the breed character in this bull is really strong. The power, the dimension, there's a lot to like in this bull. He's a powerful dude. So another great group of bulls for us to talk about and look forward to working with. <laughs>